on Saturday evening, I got a phone call from a very well-respected uh, colleague, a professor of surgery at the University of Ife, about a 32-year-old woman in Alimosho. I'm not sure exactly where Alimosho is, but uh, she had had surgery to remove her gallbladder, and unfortunately, there was an injury uh, to her hepatic artery, and she's been bleeding significantly uh, since then with uh, uh, blood transfusions. Dr. Hamed Ninalo with IR Doc Nigeria, IR to Europe here on June 19th, Sunday morning. Uh, we're here this morning uh, with the IR Doc Foundation uh, to take care of an indigent patient who had surgery uh, this past week at uh, a laparoscopic cholecystectomy, which is removal of the gallbladder, and unfortunately has been bleeding uh, from the stomach uh, since then, secondary to an injury uh, to the hepatic artery. Uh, we've just done a CT scan downstairs, um, proven where the injury is from, and we're about to go to the cat lab. So the Interventional Radiology Foundation is a foundation set up uh, to provide emergent interventional radiology care to patients who cannot otherwise afford uh, interventional radiology care. And our mission has always been uh, to be able to provide care for especially young patients who are in dire need. And we know that the only uh, service available to provide this uh, life-saving care is interventional radiology. And we've set up this foundation for about three years now. And uh, we've taken care of a lot of patients and we should be taking care of this young 33-year-old female this morning. So we have just done a CT scan and uh, clearly see exactly what the problem is here. So this is the uh, proper hepatic artery, the artery that fits the liver, the left hepatic artery has gone up already. And from the right hepatic artery, uh, there's an injury to this artery and you can see there's a, a big ball, uh, very uh, nasty, uh, something called a pseudoaneurysm there which has caused this lady to uh, bleed significantly for the last few days. Alright, so we got this done. This is the celiac artery here. This is the gastroduodenal artery, left hepatic artery and right hepatic artery. And this is the tear in the vessel wall here, causing the pseudoaneurysm. And this is what's been causing this uh, woman's bleeding uh, for the last few days. Essentially, what we've done here is now we've gotten a microcatheter across the level of injury in order to start the treatment. So this is after treatment and what the treatment entails is basically blocking the inflow and the outflow of this little aneurysm so blood flow cannot get into that aneurysm sac anymore. If you notice we've sacrificed the right hepatic artery and we've let the left hepatic artery take over the functions of the right hepatic artery so there's still blood getting into the right hepatic artery from the left hepatic artery and as you know the liver is mostly um, fed from the portal system, so 80% of the blood to the liver still comes from the portal, portal vein, so the liver should still stay alive. My name is Adipala Adela Malaitus. My wife's name is Adipala Kendi. Before we came here, she was bleeding, and so the hospital, we went before they refer us to uh, this place through the, the Interventional Radiology Foundation. Normally, the charges for what we are here for should be 3.3 million naira, but we are asked to pay what we can afford, and we paid it. And the surgery was done, and it was successful. Thank God for the uh, foundation because they really tried. They took care of my wife, and I really thank God that everything went well. We have done quite well in the last couple of years in, in IR Doc Nigeria is make sure that um, everyone in the country, public institutions and uh, private institutions ac across the country know that um, interventional radiology is available when patients have bleed uh, profusely from an injury to a vessel uh, within the body as this specialty is uh, as a unique place in um, stopping bleeding within the body without significant morbidity to the patient.